All right, hello everyone, it is Sideward, and today I'm actually doing a review of GOG Galaxy 2.0. It's advertised as one launcher in place of having a whole bunch of launchers, and you can seamlessly integrate all these different features, things like this. So regardless, we're going to do a very quick, straight-to-the-point review on that, and we're going to load it up, and this is what you've got. All right, so I've already added some of my platforms to the launcher and to do that once you have it installed all you have to do is go to the settings on the top left and you just go to add games to friends from right here you can choose to connect your platforms you click that and it brings up all the different major platforms here from your xbox live origin playstation network etc now i've already added steam origin epic game store xbox live and of course gog is already part of it i've added that so once you connect it you do have to sign in with your email and password if you've got two-step authenticator you'll have to do that as well but once you do that close it out and automatically start syncing it now here is one of the features i think is really cool on the right side you see all of your friends that you have on each of these platforms you've connected to already i've got steam here i've got xbox one etc now on the left side you'll see the recent games you played you've got all your games this is all your platforms put together everything okay i've only wow i didn't realize i had that much it shows your installed just like on steam you can set it to installed uh if i just want to see my epic games bam click epic to the left and this is everything that i own on epic if i want to go to xbox and you get the idea you get the gist everything's sorted out here via via platform now i know what, we're, what everyone's thinking it's like okay that's cool i've got everything there i don't have steam or anything no i don't have steam up at all i don't have origin up at all we all want to know if i open up a game on here will it load the launcher as well Let's find out. So let's start with let's start with Epic Games. I'm gonna load up Observer, and we're gonna see if it loads up the Epic Launcher as well. When you click the game, one thing I found is really cool. Which, by the way, um, let's say I'm gonna do this. I like how everything looks here. It shows all of your achievements that you've earned. It shows on uh, my name, even though it's that's not my name on Steam. But it shows your name for GOG shows all the info that you'd basically get shows how many hours you've played etc um and before we jump into the game if you go right here you can actually manage the installation just a simple uninstall um to edit it you can actually edit the title of the game uh you can even change the picture or icons of the game which i think is pretty cool so if you don't like the default uh developer pictures they've added onto the game thumbnails you can change that yourself um, I'm not going to be doing that unless it's a really crappy game. Um, you can also hide them from the list as you see here as well. Um, the overview, you can check your progress as well. If you want to get updates on it, you can go to what's new and see what the last thing they added. I don't like how there's no overlay, which regardless here, we're going to go back on track. Let's go to Epic. I'm going to load up Observer. We're going to see if it loads the Epic launcher or not. It's showing on. This is the launcher actually. I'm gonna hit play. And then I'm gonna go down to my task bar. There it is. I can see Epic has lit look. The Epic launcher is loaded. Okay, so it is gonna load the launcher. We're gonna try this with Steam as well. Just get this game up. Now I don't see any sort of overlay that Galaxy has implemented at all. Right, everything's fine. Close us out. All right, we exited the game. Close. And okay, this is cool. All right, I think I actually added that in my options. So it does load the launcher, but if you go to settings, features, right here. So the different platforms that I have added Steam, Origin, Epic Games. If you check this, It'll load the launcher, but the minute you exit that game, it'll automatically close the launcher for you. That is not bad. Okay, so I don't mind the launcher loading. I really like that it automatically closes it for me. I like that a lot. So you guys can see that here. They've got different... You can do the uh, bug reports. You get the interface, which really isn't that great. Um, installing, you can change the installation folders as well. Uh, if you want to do that. 
Uh, you can even change the bandwidth of the downloads, etc., which is fantastic. We all need that. Um, so that's really cool. Let's try a Steam game and let's just try. I don't have this installed, but I want to see what happens when I want to install it. All right, so it loaded up Steam. So it's loading up Steam as normal. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We're going to load this and we're going to close it out. All right, so we're loading 8-bit Fiesta. I just installed it so it does load up Steam. You see the whole download just like you were on Steam regardless. Um, we're going to see... Steam overlay works perfectly fine. I quit the game. And the Steam is still open. Will it automatically shut it down? That's what I want to know. Let's manually close Steam. I will load a game that's already installed and see what happens. So this game was already installed. It's loading up Steam. We're going to close the game out to see if it actually shuts down Steam on its own. All right, so the Steam overlay is up. We've got Halo up. We are going to shut it down. And see if Steam... Steam did shut down. Okay, so that is what is happening. So when you install a game that's not currently installed on another platform, it won't automatically close it out. That once the game is installed and you relaunch the game, it'll close the launcher out. So we found a little hitch there, a little, I guess you can call it a bug uh, or a slight inconvenience, but we can we can report that and send that to them, let them know that it, you know, it's something that we're aware of. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is the launcher. This is it. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. Um, I'm most likely going to continue to use it. They've got their store here, the GOG store, which you can see all of the uh, different things on it, which would be cool. If they can integrate all the different stores into this as well, like if I click Steam and I want to go to a Steam store, that would be amazing. That would be a feature I think we can all agree that would be fantastic. But this is really cool. I mean, I'd like to see my whole entire slew. Um, can I filter? You can filter by genres, platforms here, and OS. So if you go to all games, you can actually uh, show everything this way as well. So let's try platforms. Shows all my platformers. Nice. I like that. That's a really cool feature. Let's close this filter out. You can add a game manually. You could even redeem. Add friends. This is going to be GOG friend. Add a game manually. Okay, very nice. So there, there's little features. It's not fully implemented yet. It's still, you know, they're still working on it. Something new. I can sort by achievements. Very nice. One thing I'm looking for is if I want to redeem a game, like a game key, it looks like you're going to have to do it through the launcher itself. Like if I get a Steam game, I'm going to have to redeem it on there. But at least once you have everything installed, you've got it all in one place. You can check it out. You can, you know, message your friends. I think chat is not supported. So they did not add that just yet. It's something they're going to be working on. Um, pretty cool though. But I mean, that's the gist of it. If you guys were interested in downloading it, if you get an email to try it out, this is what you're going to be seeing so far. There's more features going to be coming soon. I know it. Um, other than that, I mean, I'll keep... If they do an update or anything like that, I'll be sure to do another video. It's most likely not going to be as long because we're just going to be showcasing the new features they've implemented into the GOG Galaxy 2.0. Other than that, I'm going to head on out. You all have a great rest of the day. Leave your comments below if there was something I missed or if there's something you wanted to see, regardless of what it is. But this is the review of GOG Galaxy 2.0. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. Sign word out.